Are we really safe? Another survivor? But well, I've never seen you in the tower. Were you one of the professor's assistants in the downstairs projects? Did he escape with you? That sounds like him. Professor Hughes was very thoughtful. I mean, he is. He is very thoughtful. I'm sure he found a way to get out. He must have! Brilliant idea, the Well of Souls. Plucks dead people out of the ether, rebuilds their body, and brings them back to life. At least that's what it was supposed to do. Guess we'll never know if it worked now. I just don't understand the two, Arthur. I mean, most Fae aren't violent. The wild ones can be, but no more than any forest animal. But the two, Arthur, are some sort of cult among the Winter Fae. Before they invaded Erethel, no one could have imagined the Fae ever marching to war. We all knew Formidus was a genius, but I'll admit, even I had my doubts about him being able to bring the dead back to life. Guess the two Arthur weren't very pleased that it worked. Oh, you mean Agar? He visits Hughes every once in a while. I never could figure out why they got along. He's friendly enough. If a bit odd. You should be able to find him in Gorha, just down the road, past the ruins. You can't miss it. Alistar is remote enough that we don't get a lot of visitors, and with our research, fewer visitors means fewer questions. We should be safe here, at least a little longer. I told them we needed more guards. They saw you fighting there. We could have used more of you. But did they really have a troll? I don't know how the Twather found us, but if they had a troll, it couldn't have been an accident. Fate was kind to collapse that doorway behind you, or they would have chased us into the glade. The well was incredible, but it took armloads of prismere crystals to keep the thing active. That's why we built it so close to the stone candle mines. They even put in a few tunnels to deliver the crystals directly into the well. I told them it wasn't safe. Looks like I was right, again. I never did trust Fae to begin with, but well, those twelfth are the worst sort. They waged some sort of holy war against humans and Alpha for years now. But the front's all the way out east. What are they doing out here? How did they know about this place? They're technically a type of wild Fae. They're related to the Fae of the summer and winter courts, actually. Dangerous enough in the wild. The Twather also used them in their army. Hughes ran off, you say? I wouldn't worry too much. The old man's tougher than he looks, and he's always got a plan. Fate weavers? Ah, charlatans! You swears by them, but I'll be damned if I trust my future to some cards. They started building here when they found Prismere in the mines nearby. Never thought we'd see Twatha this far out west, though. Good luck out there.
bloodthirsty berry eater. You. I remember you. You're... You're the one? How did you come back? How did you find me here? No, I had no idea anything like that would happen. The Well of Souls is bigger than one knows, a pet project. My employer pays for information about its progress. I just send reports to make some money on the side. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. I promise you, if I knew who it was, I'd tell you. Sharing research is one thing, but academic sabotage is a crime. Thank you, thank you. Here, take this. It's the pay for my last report. I don't want anything to do with it. I'm going back home to Odessa. This sort of thing never happened in a desert. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agar. Maybe you can help an old Fate Weaver, eh? Fate Weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. You really don't know much, do you? A Fate Weaver taps into the threads of fate and channels that energy through a focus. My order prefers cards. The cards are unique to each Fate Weaver, since we all see the weave differently. You! You're the one! Then that means it all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. I'm 
mortal. What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes. Other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much. I am. But still, I've never seen someone whose fate was just missing. Not even when I was drunk as the King of Ballads. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it. Then your path is yours to determine. changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. It could mean nothing, or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. The Tawatha aren't like any fae I've ever known. They're cruel, bloodthirsty, and savage. Why, they're practically human. Hughes was always an odd one. Curious and determined as any of his kind, sure. He never shut up about his work. But he always knew what was important. He didn't worry about dying as long as he knew he'd get the well working. 
The Fate Weavers were once a great, unified order of sages from all the mortal races. We foretold the destinies of kings and gods. But that power takes a toll. Nobody likes bad news. And all the news in the world is getting worse. The order splintered long ago. Now the old traditions are all but lost. And all I foretell is the fate of my beer. And I see it being empty soon. We are all.